Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm actually hanging out at my brother's place. And you can see there's still snow, and there's still icicles kind of hanging around here. So it wasn't nice coming back from Daytona Bike Week to find snow and icicles. But, on the pot of positive note, the Pussy Willow is budding. And I'll probably get my channel canceled because I used that name, huh? Guys, hit the sub, give me the thumbs up and all that. In this video, we're gonna cover a lot of ground. This is traveling south, dealing with a lot of rain. Gonna hit the Daytona Bike Week and a lot more rain and a couple mini adventures through sandy back roads. More rain and cows. Yeah, cows. <laughs> Only in a Randall Rides video. I hope you enjoy it. Right, let's get into the video. Hey, the two for a dollar hot dog deal is back at Sheets. Nobody told me, I didn't know. I did decide to kind of just keep pushing here through the night and maybe uh, find camp in the morning. I'm hoping that I stay ahead of the rain until the morning and then I can set up my tent and sleep through some of that. We'll see how it actually plays out here overnight. It's about one o'clock in the morning and I stopped, just topped off the tank here at this marathon. It's pouring rain, man. It's just pouring and it's been pouring for three, four hours, something like that. I could probably push and get to Charlotte tonight. I'm about 50 miles out of Charlotte, but I have 470 miles today. Anyways, it's 30 miles more than that because I didn't start it until I was down the, down the road quite a bit, but go 500 miles in today and Four hours of that was just torrential downpours, and then I managed to do the Skyline Drive, so I wasn't rushing some of that, but uh, overall, I'm happy with what I've accomplished today. I don't know if I shut the bike off so the battery doesn't die. I can always sleep tomorrow, but I needed to get that push in, because this storm was pending. That's the update, guys. It's one o'clock in the morning. I'm at a gas station. I'm gonna go try and find somewhere to sleep. Uh, I just thought I'd show you where I slept last night. I, I found this uh, dead-end road. I pulled the bike up on the side of the road and I just sat in my chair. I have my bike cover and I put my bike cover over that and I just sat next to it in my chair, just nodded off. Just leaned against the bike, kind of. And then there's behind me. So that's the end. You can see the end of the road right there. I, a lot of times I, when I'm looking for a spot to stay, I'll just pull down, I'll get off the highway, it's right there, you can hear it, and I'll just hit one of these little back roads and I'll just, I'll shoot off and just go down one or two roads until I see something where I can just sit. You're not gonna stay here while you're going to bike week, you know, you know it's not like that, this is just passing through. It is 6.32 and the sky is just bright enough now that, uh, well, I don't need the headlamp. Um, I'm gonna get about three or four hours of no rain today, so I'm trying to ride during that time. So that's why I'm up right now, and that's why I just, I pushed hard last night, uh, 700 miles almost, 600 miles. It was kind of miserable ride in it, but I made up that extra bit of mileage, and then I had this little break this morning. It's just, it's cold. <laughs> it's just miserable being wet. Put on a dry pair of socks, and enjoyed that for a few hour, or for about an hour or so this morning. And then I shoved those nice dry socks right into wet boots. I'm gonna head down toward Savannah, probably just gonna pass right through Savannah, and then go into Jacksonville. Guys, I'm tired. I didn't sleep real good last night, only got uh, that about an hour. And so I gotta somehow pick up a nap too. So I told my boy that I'd be down there at his place, probably, around dusk, you know, like six o'clock, so. This ain't glamorous, I know. It, it's at a rest stop, you know? I'm not really trying to do anything here. I'm just getting through. Guys, I am absolutely exhausted. Um, I'm gonna have to sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna sit right here and just kinda nod off. Accomplished. I think I slept for like an hour. Just sitting here. 
there's another biker, he came over, he was talking to me for about an hour, and I'm like, oh, I'm falling asleep here. I felt like I was being rude, sorry man, I'm just tired. So I got down to my friend's place here in Jacksonville, Florida, and the ride in was pretty brutal, coming down the Blue Ridge Parkway and uh, Skyline Drive, a lot of rain, I just got dumped on for a day and a half, slept out in it, and was drenched, so it was, uh, it was just pleasant getting here. I got a nice warm shower and dude, I crashed hard. I got some, I got a sleep that changes your outlook on life, you know? I woke up feeling positive, ready to do something. So the bike's all loaded up and I'm about to head down to Daytona. You guys see this mud puddle? All those little dimples in it? It just started raining and that's fine. I don't mind riding in the rain. All that means is I'm going to hit the road and I'm going to get a little wet. I'm not including you guys because GoPro and all their wisdom, they haven't figured out how to do a GoPro that can ride in the rain. <laughs> I, mean, I just throw this out there. GoPro, look into this ancient technology. It's called Bluetooth. It might solve this issue. Win Dixie for lunch. I made it down to destination Daytona. This is about 10 miles outside of Daytona. I don't really have a place I've got to be and things are pretty rained out, so I'm just kind of putting around. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to camp here, but I am kind of looking at it. I'm scoping it out. It's a good shoreline. I'd have to get back to it. But I don't know, it might be worth taking a little walk around and just keeping it in mind. All right, don't want to park in the water, but that ultra there has got a nice little open spot next to it. So I made it down to destination Daytona and there's signs everywhere right here where I'm parking the bike and say there's snakes and gators. I don't know about snakes and gators, but I did see a turtle. I don't think I'm gonna need these right now. Do you see that cloud bank rolling in behind me? I'm not sure how many other people are seeing it because the bikes haven't cleared out. You know, it's like, I've just been kind of tinkering around here at the bike and getting my gear kind of stowed and thinking how I want to do this, but that, gr that gray bank of clouds just keeps getting closer and closer. So. I think in about 30 minutes, a lot of these bikes are going to be gone, and I think I'm going to be hunkered down for a few. So I'm going to go ahead and set my little shelter up, because I don't think we're getting out of this one. Dead men walking. <laughs> Some of the guys are putting rain gear on, but most of them are just rolling out and hoping for the best, but they can't get away from what's about to happen. Hey, I could laugh about it because I just I just crawled through it. But listen, raining's riding, right? It's part of riding. We'll see how I make out. Look, we're in Florida, man. It's just rain. It's not gonna kill you, you know. Smile about it, man. You're in Daytona. Daytona Bike Week and a little rain. You're gonna deal with it. It's Florida, man. You're inside my shanty with me. Um, I got my chair set up here, and you can see the bike parked right there next to me. So this is just a bike cover, and I got one that's oversized for my bike it's because of this right here. So that's the bike set up right up next to my legs. And that's the rain outside. I mean, it doesn't look real great. You know, it's basically the same for the next two days anyway. So we're going to have rain off and on, just storms. So, um, oh, it's a little depressing. So tomorrow it looks like it's going to break up real good, but between now and then it doesn't look real promising probably gonna have storms until about nine o'clock tonight it's unfortunate but I might have to bail on this I might 
take a walk over and just look and see what they have set up, what's going on. But I think a lot of the vendors are probably going to shut down and hunker and just kind of close everything up. So they like to be in the weather as much as you and me, you know. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do here for the next day or two. Kind of bummed about that. I was planning on getting some cold shots. Daytona Bike Week getting flooded out. Man, rain. That has been the story of this trip. I'd say there's hope. This parking lot is drying up, and I don't mean the water that's on the pavement. The bikes are just disappearing. It's like every five minutes, a few more bikes that are gone. And honestly, I think I'm about to follow suit. I need to find a place to camp for the night, and this rain just really took its toll on uh, day one of Daytona Bike Week here. But we're really here about the riding anyways, aren't we? I think we come down here so that we can get some early rides in. It just makes sense that I would ride a little bit, but I do need to be looking for a camp too. Let's go see if anyone's here. The Drift Car Nationals are held here at Volusia. Um, I was actually thinking it was the flat track for the motorcycles, but it's not. But you can see behind me, it's a huge field, so the, the races are over and it's wide open. So he made me a deal. I'm going to actually stay here two nights, so tonight and tomorrow night. I'm really happy with that because that gives me the opportunity tomorrow to spend real time in Daytona. I came over, got set up, got a little firewood and had a little fire and just cooked something. Strummed the guitar a little bit. Anyway, so I'll get with you guys in the morning. I'm going to bed now and... Uh, who knows, it's Florida. The rain will come and go. They always tell you there's gonna be a ton of rain and then it comes down and it leaves. Hopefully that plays out to be true. I'm counting on the Florida rain to come and go quick. Good night, I'll get with you in the morning. Good night. up came out to pee and turkey were marching along the edge of the field there good morning I think I positioned my tent just about perfect this morning sun's coming up right in front of it kind of right there let's make breakfast and make plans I thought today I'd strip the bike down to um, beach mode. So breakfast is being made. I got the bike set up here. Beach mode. The Heritage Softail, man, you can strip it down really nice. I, I like how it looks whenever it's just slim and trim. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not a bobber. You know, it's not stripped down. I love bobbers. I love bikes that are stripped, you know, but it's it's about what I need it's it suits me just fine for my lifestyle my riding my riding style the heritage is just perfect for me so it's 2008 heritage soft tail and she's seen a lot of miles with me and hopefully a lot more to come so the bikes not named pewter that's pewter the pewter's been with me for a long time and I think that uh, the bike will change over the years, you know what I mean? Because that's the nature of motorcycles. But pewter will stay with me regardless of what two wheels I choose to ride. stopped at the post office here in uh, Ormond Beach I think it's Ormond Beach and anyways the post office back there. I found a driver's license yesterday in the parking lot when I was up at the dealership and I just went inside and I told them hey I found this driver's license I was gonna pay for postage but they said no nah, we'll handle it Love that was pretty cool so if you guys find a driver's license just run it to the local post office 
and we'll get that back to somebody, you know? That's pretty cool. So the rain's gonna move back in on us, I'm afraid, and the forecast says I'm gonna get about six hours of it, five or six hours of it. That's basically gonna carry me right in tonight. Look, it's fine. I'm here. I did it. It's the first year, but I won't lie. It's not everything I thought it would be, you know? So I'm gonna grab some Denny's so I'm good until supper. <laughs> you noticing a trend? It's Denny's. I love Denny's. I took the chance with all the rain and I went on a mini adventure. Really, I was just looking for a campsite and I did find some areas that I could camp. This late in the video, folks, if you're still watching, I don't often get to do this, but thank you. You are my biggest supporters. Thank you. So I took a little detour today. I'm in the Ocala National Forest and doing a little scouting, basically. I'm trying to find a place that where I can camp, just dispersed camping back here. I kind of ran into a little bit of a snag here. You see, when you have the Harley and you come to Florida, you're gonna deal with sand if you haven't ridden in sand with a Harley before, you may not know this, but it doesn't do too good. So I came up on this point, and I don't know if you can see them all, but there's three of these little deep holes. So essentially, I think it just, uh, I'm kind of at an impasse. I'm kind of worried if I try to take the bike through that, I'll dump it. And if I don't dump it on the first one, I'll probably dump it on the second one. If I somehow survive to the third one, it's going down and you know what on the other side of that bend there might be 10 more i'm seeing plenty of pull-offs like i could make camp several places back here so i feel like i accomplished what i set out to do anyways i don't know what else to do but turn the bike around and head back out so i guess that's what we'll do when you go to these bigger bike events they really are what you make of them more than that too it's like what you participate in you know when i when i'm out here and i'm traveling i like doing stuff like this i like exploring finding places you know i love this idea of being able to travel and be able to experience and explore and stuff that i mean that's just of my imagination goes wild when i think about that i want to find like these picturesque and romantic places you know and just plant seeds in my brain so i can create you know art with it with my music and stuff like I mean look right behind me man isn't that beautiful I mean that's beautiful to me it just looks like possibilities you know I got my Harley out and I'm rolling along and you know she's doing so good for me man I love my bike but the point I guess I'm trying to make is you know it it is gonna be what you make it be if you come to Daytona and your goal is to uh, you know a party you're gonna find that you know and if your goal is to spend money you're gonna find that too and if you're like me if you're just out here looking for little adventures like this they're right here to be had so in that way Daytona has delivered you know I'm not much for the, the party scene in size a matter of fact I've noticed that wherever the biker crowd tends to go I tend to be going 180 degrees the opposite direction. When they're heading into town, I'm leaving town. It's almost like, I think I know what it is. It's like whenever the crowd gets to be that big, I'm not much for a big crowd like that. And that probably sounds a little contrary to this, but really, I'm out here by myself doing this. There's no one hanging around me, you know, and you guys see me on YouTube and stuff, and I have that crowd up at, up at the lake and stuff, and I love having this exchange, but I'm actually a pretty personal guy, you know, I kind of like to stay to myself. I understand if you set up your tent right on top of these guys, they keep you warm. That's a pro tip right there. It's a little bit of a labyrinth back here. So the trails kind of bob and weave all through this, this area, but um, there's an area right here. I definitely work for a camp. Man, you get scumbags no matter what state you go into. Don't be like Richard who put this here. Don't be a Richard. Ugh. I'm glad I kind of cruised back here. It's way out of the way. So it's about 50 minutes from Daytona. I'd say it's way out of the way. 
if Daytona was the goal, it might be on the edge of where you'd want to stay. And not everybody would want to boondock out here like this either. But what I'm saying is if you're coming down to Daytona for cruising like I do, for the exploration, for the adventure of it, well, that's a good spot to start. You start right in the adventure, and then you just span out from there. Give you some shots of this sandy drive back in here. Tomorrow morning I'll be waking up and heading toward my buddy Panhead Ross's place. He has his Panhead party during the Daytona Bike Week and I want to make sure I don't miss that. So that'll be kind of the cap on my trip down here for Daytona Bike Week. There's so much going on this year, guys. If you haven't followed my channel yet, now's a great time to get involved. Join the team here. And do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. Man, that, that puts fuel in my tank, you know? And in a more literal sense, if you want to put fuel in the tank, there's links below for PayPal and Patreon. I would like to meet you one-on-one, -on -one, face to face at one of these events, so see if you can get out here. I'm going to say hi to the cows. I'll introduce you. So I'm not sure how much you know about cows. Hopefully it's more than me, because I don't know much, but I do know that when they have balls, you don't play with them. That's the bigger of the two. I think we're gonna call that one Butthead. But you couldn't get very far from Butthead and not see Beavis. <laughs> no? It's alright Beavis, I know what I look like. <laughs> alright, so the real reason for the walk over here, maybe some firewood. This one. And then the one that I dropped way out in the field, too. I was just checking with the Badgers online, and there's a bike burning thing going on tonight. It's down the road. Let's hop on a bike. We'll get out to it. Let's go. That is soon going to be in flames. And everybody's taking their turn, just kind of signing it up, making it something to remember them by. I wonder if you put your relationship status on there and that burns. Is that a good omen or a bad omen? Check that the out. The annual burning bike continues a tradition that started a long time ago, and it's in the spirit of a lifestyle that so many bikers hold dear. This is a special event to remember a loved one, so you can sign or write a message on this 75-foot wooden handmade bike before it's burned and all the written messages are sent up to the ones that we love and miss so dearly. But I'll link it below. I'm going to shut it down and I'll check with you guys back in the morning. We're heading to Panhead Ross's uh, Panhead party. So uh, if you guys haven't subbed, now's a good time to do that. So I appreciate that. Hit the thumbs up for me, if nothing else. And uh, let's hit the road. It's a pleasure to meet you. And hopefully I see you guys out on the road. But uh, till then, man, much love, much respect. See ya.